I would love to share with you the new vision for St Chad's, which we're launching here in the autumn of 2022. Earlier this year, we felt now was a time to look at our vision together. And so through May and June, we had an extensive process of praying, listening to God, listening to one another, consulting, hearing people's ideas and views on what we felt together God was calling us to as a church. That culminated into a 38-page document, which the PCC, our staff, and some of the leaders of our ministries all read. And then we gathered for a day in July to together share what we felt the key highlights and the key areas to prioritize, to invest in, and to express what we believe God is calling St. Chad's to. And so we've now produced a new vision statement on the back of that. The purpose of this statement is for all sorts of reasons. One is to inspire. We want to show the world around us in our community what sort of church we are and what we're about. We want to share with our church family that you would be inspired by what God was calling us to and those who are joining our church to get a flavor for what sort of church we're about. Also internally, we want to align all that we do together. We want to be one church going in the same direction with the same shared vision. So therefore, all we do with our youth and children, with our elderly people in the community on Sundays is aligned in one core sort of direction together. And we want to define what we're about and what we're not about. We want to define the sort of people we want to be, the way we want to express our love for God, and then, in a sense, define those things that we don't see as a priority, the ways we commit, the things we commit to, to be about as a church. So we want to inspire, align, and define. Let me share with you the vision we have for St. Chad's. All those 38 page document, all those hours of listening and sharing words and writing things down, distilled down into one moment where one of our team just said the phrase, more people, more like Jesus. And it was one of those, oh yes, wow moments. We went, that captures something we're about. We want more people to be part of St. Chad's. We want to grow as a church. We want to see more people feel welcomed and valued and here. And we want to become more like Jesus. We want each one of us to grow deeper in our likeness to Christ. And we think we can do that through three ways. We're calling them our three anchors. The first is glorifying God, that all that we do is for God's glory. Our worship is for his glory. Our prayer and our dependence upon him is for his glory. The way we live according to the Bible is all for his glory. So our Sundays will be an expression of ultimately the glory of God. And one of the ways that God is glorified is the way we love one another, which leads us into our second statement, loving community. This statement has a a dual purpose. The the second one, loving community, is about loving our community here in Romilly. Romilly is a wonderful community that really values the sense of being a community together. And we are really at the heart of that community, meeting weekly with elderly people, isolated people, young people in all sorts of backgrounds and walks of life, mothers and toddlers and parents and carers, all have a connection with us through the week. And we want to show the love of God to them. We also want to be a loving community, a community that loves one another, that cares for one another, that supports one another, that is in open-hearted, honest, vulnerable relationships going deeper with each other. We want to be a community that feels together as one family, and that's of all generations and all stages of life. And then the third one is following Jesus. One of the key themes that came through the consultation was this desire that we would be disciples of Jesus, that we would set our targets of life to follow him. And by following, we don't just mean like you follow on social media, sort of a vague interest in Jesus. We mean walking in his footsteps, following his ways, living obedient to him, living obedient to what he describes in the Bible, caring about the things that he cares about, growing in our depth of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. So glorifying God, loving community, and following Jesus. These together, we believe, if we pursue them as one church family, Together, we will pursue that goal of more people becoming more like Christ. And we'd love you to be part of that journey with us. So come and join in with it. See what your parts to play in that, both in following Jesus, how you can contribute to loving the community, and how your life can glorify God. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of St. Chad's. And it's a delight to be on this journey together as we pursue God's vision for us as a church.